she knows something's up. They both do, really. Ugh. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be covering my Go Wild prep. We're not packing yet. I'm just like organizing everything. I'm gonna show you my luggage. I'm gonna show you all these things. What I'm gonna be bringing when it comes to planning stuff and like all of my um, table mate gifts, all of that. So not packing yet, just organizing and prepping. So we'll, let's start with these things. Then we're gonna go to the floor of my office and I'll show you like all my luggage and stuff. Okay, let's begin with this box here. So this came in the mail a couple of weeks ago, maybe like three weeks ago. And it has like, and it's from the Go Wild team and they just sent us some goodies to just get ready. And I think to just like save some time when we get there. So there is this little like fold out cute little um, like info graphic kind of thing. It gives you the itinerary, a little note from Jeanette. Keep her in your thoughts and prayers because she's going through a lot right now. But um, I'm so grateful for like all of her work on everything the past few years. We've got um, some just basic info here. And then on this side, we have some little tips. I really read these like a couple of times. So I am bringing a charger pack. I will show you that in a minute. I have two, but I think I'm just going to bring the one. I have snacks I'm going to bring and I got an extra water bottle and then just like some cute little, you know, little notes and stuff and then stuff about the hotel. So I am staying at the Hilton. I have a room with king bed by myself because I am an introvert and I feel like I'm going to need time to like recharge and I just like want my space, you know, and it's my first time. I don't know what to expect. So if I go again, then I will like think about roommates and all that. But for now, I'm going by myself and I'm just going to like feel it out, you know. So here is a cute little eye mask. It's so cute. Let's get this out. Oh, isn't that adorable? It's like satin. Wake me up in Washington. I don't know who thought of that, but that's adorable. And I think I'll use this for like a picture or something. It's just super cute. Maybe for the plane too, because it's going to be a long ride for me. I've got two flights um, going there and back. So I'm going to Dallas and then straight there on the way back. Same thing, Dallas and then home. Okay, so I've got my lanyard, which is so cute. This has my name and my handle. And then there's just like some info on the back. And then of course the actual lanyard. And people are like all about the pins. I don't have a lot of pens, but this one came with the little pack here, which I definitely will use and put on my lanyard. It's so cute. But then I've got a couple others, let me show you. Okay, so I found this one at work, which I thought was kind of perfect for the city and everything. And then this one is from Fox and Cactus. I've had this one for a while. It was on my teacher lanyard for a while before I switched to a different one. And it is just like the perfect little pin. I love it so much, but I lost the other side of it. Where did it go? I had one little cover. I don't know where it went. Then I lost the other one. So I'm gonna have to figure that out and find some little backs for these, but I just love this so much. There it is, just found it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find another one for that pin. And then we have this pin here, a different type of pin, a zebra sarasa in 0.5. I'm not a blue person, so I'm probably gonna gift this one. I am team black, but I do appreciate a pin, of course. And then we have some beautiful washi from Simply Gilded. Here it is. It's got like a sheen to it that's like a little bit holographic with little stars. And then you see like the Jefferson Memorial and different parts of the skyline, the cherry blossoms, which I have heard have started blooming early. So I might actually get to see them. They're so pretty and I've never seen them before. I've been to DC a couple of times, but haven't seen the cherry blossoms yet. Okay, then we have some like exclusive mild liners or at least exclusive to this pack. It has Go Wild on it, which is so cute. So we have five different colors here. They are all so cute and the perfect like color scheme for Go Wild. So we've got the pink, we've got violet, dark blue, blue, and blue green, which the blue green is my favorite. So I think I'm gonna take a couple of these, but maybe not all of them. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Okay, then we have a little vinyl with the llama on there, which is so cute. And then another vinyl that's like white, but you can see 
I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's got the capital in the background. And then Peace Love Wild, which I think I'm going to put on my laptop. It's just too cute. And then this is from Simply Gilded, a little um, postcard with Washington, D.C. on it with the same that's same uh, background that's on the washi. And then we have a post secret card, which you can you do your post secret on here. And then it's already mail or it has the address on it and you just have to put a stamp on there, which is so cute. I've never done post secret, but I have followed them for like, I don't even know, probably close to 20 years because I started following them in college. Yeah, it's been like 15, 17, I don't know how many years. Then we have this card from Zebra, which is really cute, which is like for a, a, the wild exclusive box, which we can pick up at the booth, which is just super cute. So that is the box that they send you when you like sign up, which is just super fun. And I just like loved going through all of this. It just made me really happy. Now let's talk about contact cards. So this was something that I heard was helpful for people. So I, this is the thing, I'm not like totally in the loop on everything because I absolutely hate Facebook and I avoid it at all costs and I still have an account, but it's not like, I never get on it, you know, it's like not on my phone. So I have to like go onto my computer. It's like a whole thing. Anyway, this is one thing that I've heard that was like helpful. So I ordered these from Vistaprint and I did the design on Canva. So I have my Instagram handle, my YouTube handle, which one's same, and then my email address. And then a QR code here that goes straight to my Instagram so that if people want to like message me or whatever, they have that and then a picture of me so they remember who I am. And then my name and content creator on there with my like brand colors and fonts, which I just thought was like simple, cute, and I can give these out to whoever needs them. So I think I have like a hundred in here, which will be plenty, I think, for all of go out. I'm probably going to come home with some, but I just wanted to have those handy. Now let's go over stickers that I bought for like memory keeping and stuff for the week that I get back. So these are from Fox and Cactus. They're so cute and they just like are themed to the colors really well. So I've just put these aside for this purpose and I'll use these in my memory planner and my everyday planner. Then I have this deco sheet from the sticker party. So I didn't like go all in on merch and stuff. I really tried to like keep to my budget and everything, but the sticker party had so much stuff and I have a couple of other shops that I'll show you, but this one is just a deco sheet I can use in any planner. And then I have a journaling kit, which is a two page kit from the sticker party again. So here's the first page. I'm really not going to be planning much this week, probably just like to do lists in my planner, but it'll look cute. And then this is the second page. It's just adorable. I love all the colors. And then this is the kit I'll use to memory plan the week in my memory planner. So this is like a five page kit or something. Yeah. So here are the full boxes. It's going to be just like super fun. And then this page here with some glitter headers, some boxes. And then I thought this was cool. So you can like label the days. So you remember like what you're doing for each day. And then this one has the day covers, which are already labeled, which is a really nice touch. Some glitter headers. Next, I have this sheet from Planner Kate. I've already used one of the stickers here, but I just thought this was fun to throw in and use wherever. These are just super cute. And I can use these like in my journals, which I'll show you, or my planners. This was a little card that came with my order from the sticker party. I haven't decided what I want to do with that yet. Then I have this order from... Um, from the Honey Bee Shop. And I just grabbed a couple things, nothing like a whole lot, but here's the little card that came with my order. And then I got this vinyl, which introverted, but willing to talk about the stationery. And I actually really regret not getting some pins from her because I think that would have looked cute on my lanyard, but I didn't do that. And then I got two sticker sheets from her. So I've got this one, which is like, um, like to do's when you're there. And these had things that like other ones didn't have, like, Party to plan jamma, confetti carpet photos, swag drop, hand out contact cards. And then this one is just like cute little sayings. I love this one. I love the like, um, I love the different fonts, really cute. 
Okay, so that's everything from the Honey Bee Shop. I also got this from the Sticker Party, a little notepad, which I'm just going to go ahead and get it out of here because I'm going to be using this very soon. So I don't remember how many sheets it has on there, but quite a few. And it just has lines on it, wild plans, which is perfect. And then let's go into the notebooks I got and notepad from Lights Planner Action. I love her paper. It's so like buttery. So I got this notepad first, which I've already started using. Um, it's just got her beautiful paper on it and quite a few pages here that I can use over the next few days as I start to pack. But I just have a few things on here that I'm going to be working on this weekend. Okay, then I have two notebooks from her. So this is an A5 size and this one is called Wild Planning. This one is Wild Days. We'll get to that one in just a minute. So this one is for just all the planning before. So I'll just go through it with you, show you what I've done in here. Here's a little countdown that I totally have not done, but it is absolutely adorable. And then I've got um, my flight info in between here. So we're just going to skip over. This page was like misprinted or miscut or whatever, but I haven't really used it yet um, or at all because it's just, I don't know. I couldn't really use this one. And anyway, let's go to a roomie profile. Obviously, I don't have roommates. And then we're going to my list. So this is what I've really been working on. It's like all of my like packing stuff. I am bringing two suitcases. One's carry on size, one is regular size. And then I have a backpack. So that's all I'm bringing besides like my purse, which is going to stay in my backpack most of the time. But I really just want to like plan everything out really well so that I can empty out a lot of stuff like table made gifts and all that stuff and then include like all the swag and everything that's why i got two pieces of luggage and since it's southwest that i'm flying i can pack or um pack it under the plane both of them for no additional fee which is nice okay then outfit planner i've been thinking about this but haven't written anything down because <laughs> i've been watching like instagram stories and reels from people who've been before and they're showing their outfits that they're like planning to bring. And now I'm like confused and I don't know what to bring because like a lot of people have said, dress casual, like it's super casual, like be comfortable. And then a lot of people are like, not like fully dressing up, but like wearing cute shirts and like cute shoes. And so now I don't know what to bring. I know on my travel days, which is like these two days, I will definitely bring like, or wear comfy clothes. But these three days, I'm like, I don't know. And do I bring like evening outfits? I don't know. So I'm still thinking on this. That's why I haven't written anything down besides the dates. And then we've got a little notes page. I haven't done the budget one because I'm using a spreadsheet for that. And then the merch, I ordered that before I got this. So I didn't want to really like write those in. And then there's just like places to go, which I don't even know because I don't know if anyone is going to take me anywhere or let me go with them. I don't know. Um, but then I just wrote a few like people I want to see. I'm really sad that I know like Cindy Lama well, Letters is probably not going to be able to make it because she's on dialysis, which I totally understand. But I'm like, I'm sad that I'm going to miss like seeing her because she just brings like so much fun to the whole community. Okay, so here's what I'm bringing. This is it for like planning wise. I'm not bringing any planners just bringing this notebook and this little pencil case. So this was gifted to me by a friend for Christmas. I'll just show you the inside. I thought the color was like interesting. It's not like not quite pink, it's got a little red in it. And then it's got like some little places for pens, some little pockets here, and then a space to put other things. So I'm planning to put like some white out, a couple of pens in here, a couple highlighters, and then just like call it a day. And then I've got this notebook that I'll bring like these are going to go together. So let me show you the inside of this one because it's super cute and it's going to be really fun to use this for my memory keeping. Okay, here's the first page and then we go to the like itineraries. So this is like the first actual day. This one is like the like travel day. And I think I get in at like four ish. So I'll like get to the hotel, check in. And I don't even know what um, this is just like completely open day one, two. And then we've got like a little reflection with the speaker notes, which I thought this was really cool. So each of these have a space for you to write about the speaker and then a little reflection. I thought that was cute. So you have quite a few of these. The little <laughs> times are even like tailored to that. It's so cute.
So you get a lot of those because there's a lot of speakers. Really looking forward to everybody. And then we have like recaps here. So we've got Wednesday, Thursday. So cute. And then Friday, Saturday. I love these little prompts. Those are adorable. And all of the names in here, like Lizzo, but with two L's for llamas. And Laverne Cox. Okay, then we've got reflections here. So I thought this was cool. Tips for next year. Little boxes to write little things. Best thing I ate. Major highlight. So dang grateful for. And then we've got just pages for notes and memories. And then another page for memories. I just love all the space for notes and the little speaker pages. So these are the only two things coming with me that are like planner wise. And I think that's gonna be totally fine. I forgot to add these two pages. I've got this convention bucket list from Once More With Love that I literally held on to for like three or four years. And then this countdown, which I didn't use it this week and I don't know why, but I'll pick up next week and use this. It's been really fun to put those in every week. All right, let's go down to the floor in my office and I'll show you all of the things that I'm gonna be working on organizing in the next week or so. Okay, I think we're just gonna go in like a circle around here. I've just made myself a little spot here. I'm not showing you myself because I'm a mess today, but I will be hopefully vlogging some. I haven't really decided on that, but um, let's start with packing cubes. I have these from EC. They're a cute little like black leopard, which I really like. There's some things in here from Christmas that I just like left in there. And then this is a like a larger packing cube that I like to use for clothes. And then this one is just for like hair stuff. And then this one has like toiletries and everything. And then of course shower stuff. I'm gonna be re like replenishing everything. And I've actually got a few things over here that I need to transfer into this stuff, but I haven't done it yet. Okay, then I have my luggage. So all of my luggage is from Soul Guard. Uh, they just like caught me on Instagram ads. And then I like watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I just, I'm really like obsessed with them right now. Okay, so this is like my regular suitcase. I got this pretty green color, which I really like. And it has like so many compartments for stuff. But what I really love about this let me show you. Okay, so it comes with this little closet, they call it. And it has so many compartments, which I love. And then you can attach it to the like handle here. And it like stands up, if you can see that. So cool. Okay, so then it has like this big compartment here with like little um, mesh pockets there. And then over on this side, that big compartment for the closet. And in this compartment, I keep my air tag. So I have one for this piece of luggage and then I have one for my carry on. I just wanna keep track of everything. Okay, with my luggage came these two um, bags for shoes. And I really love those cause it just keeps them like nice and clean and out of the way. For all of my luggage, I got these cute little acrylic um, tags and they're just adorable. I put my phone number on there. So I just kind of covered those up. I have one for this bag. And I've got one for this piece of luggage as well. Is that one really cute. Now let's talk about my backpack. It is also from Soul Guard. I just love the quality of this. Everything was very expensive, I will tell you that, but it is an investment to me. So I just like invested, you know? So this particular backpack came with a solar pack, which is super cool. You can also recharge it like in an outlet, but it has a like really big battery bank which is great. And then I just put in a cord so I can charge my phone or my iPad, whatever I need to do. And then I've got this compartment at the front, which has some little pin spots. I can put my phone in there if I don't want to carry it. And it's just like huge. And then the big compartment here, I can put my iPad in here, which is great. I'm not going to bring my laptop. And then there's just like so much space and lots of little pockets over here. It's just so huge. And then it's got these little compartments on the side. And then also like, if you can see that little compartments in the like super inside where you can like lock it up, pretty cool. There's also some little secret compartments in here as well. If I'm like traveling internationally, I would put my passport in here, but I just think this is such a cool backpack and it will 
hopefully last me forever. Okay, then I've got my carry-on, also in the pretty green color. And this one is pretty much just like a smaller version of the one that I showed you a minute ago. It has the closet, which is so nice. I don't know if I'm gonna bring it in this one, but I might. You can also like put it in the closet of a hotel room, which is cool. But it's um, got plenty of room in here. I also have an air tag in this one just so I can keep track of it. But I just wanted to have two pieces because I just didn't want to run out of room, you know? I just got in an Amazon order yesterday, so let's go through all of this stuff. Let's start with table mate gifts first. So I kind of got some ideas from people, like advice and stuff. And so I got some pens, two of my favorite pens, Pentel Inner Gels and the Green Gray um, Jelly Rolls to include in these little cellophane bags with some cute little pink and purple like crinkles and dots. And then I've got some Annie's um, like fruit snacks. I'm planning on making like 16 packs so that I have enough for both tables that I sit at. And then I've got some goldfish that I can put in there. I really like the purple ones because it like matches everything. And then I've got some little moisturizing hand cream. It's also like antibacterial that I thought I would throw in there as well because I thought people would like that. Once I get these assembled, I will show you that in the vlog or pictures on Instagram or somewhere. Okay, then I got another water bottle for myself because I want to make sure that I have enough. So this one is like a pretty gray that matches my backpack and I just want to keep everything pretty neutral. Just a little cap that you can put on the top of it as well. I also got myself a first aid kit because I'm traveling alone. I want to make sure that I have everything I need. And then this I got just so that I don't have to bring bottles with me. I can put all of my meds in here and just have everything available along with my vitamins. So I thought that was handy. And then over here, I just got a diffuser for my, um, for my hair dryer. <laughs> I'm losing train of thought. Okay. Then I got just a few more things for, um, like travel size. So this is my favorite cleanser. It's just so good. And then just some, like toothpaste and band-aids and stuff. You never know when you might need some little band-aids. All right, so I'm gonna start organizing all of this stuff. I'm excited to get going on like actually making it real. I hope that you enjoyed all this prep and I'll see you there.